Hello friends, in this video we are going to see the third variety of equilibrium point which is called as a concept of saddle point. In this video we are going to start with the third variety which is called as a concept of saddle point. The basic difference between nodal point and saddle point is that in the case of unstable node all the pole locations are on the rhs of the s plane but in the case of saddle point few poles are on the rhs and a few pole are on the lhs of the given j omega or sigma axis c i'll draw a sigma j omega axis in this case few poles are on the LHS of the S plane and few poles are on the RHS of the S plane. Let us mark this as lambda 1 minus lambda 2 minus lambda 3 and lambda 4. So this is the pole 0 plot of a saddle point. Now suppose if I want to draw the pole location of an unstable node all the pole locations would have been on the RHS of the S plane, unstable node. Now we know that as I have said in my previous videos also that out of 100 poles if 99 poles are on the LHS of the S plane and if any one pole is on the RHS of the S plane the system by default is unstable in nature. Hence, in the case of saddle point, since few poles are on the RHS of the S plane, the saddle point is also unstable in nature. Which means that the trajectory of the saddle point will be as such leaving the origin towards the two dimensional space. That means this trajectory will be merging away from the origin. So as you can see over here, the trajectories are merging away from the origin. So three points once again we will brush up. Saddle point, pole zero plot, few poles on the RHS of the S plane and few poles are on the LHS of the S plane. Second, stability. So, since few poles are on the RHS of the S plane, the system is unstable. The system is unstable in nature and the trajectory are also diverging away from the equilibrium point. This completes this video. Thank you for watching this video.